Welcome. This is my studio. This is a fisheye lens on this camera, so hopefully you'll be able to see a little bit more of it. But uh, now I always do these, uh, you know, on my, my hot sauce videos, my challenge food related videos. Anyways, this is my set, and I thought that I'd give you guys a tour of exactly how I do everything, sort of like the behind the scenes. So if you step back, Alex, you get to see like the wide breadth, breadth of everything here. So I guess I'll start with the table and then I'll move outwards. This is, I'm gonna get this. I got this in overstock.com. This is just a tabletop, like a like butcher block tabletop that I stained dark. It is sitting on top of a crappy um, conference table. That's the legs of it, basically. And then you'll see on the outer sides of it, I have this green tape. Those are like the safety areas, basically. So like when I'm filming, I can take my drink I can put it in the safety area, or my guest can put it there in the safety area, and it's not gonna show up in the camera. On my side, I've got all different kinds of controls. Over here. Hey, Brian, that lawyer called. He's not, oh, he's not, legally, I can't tell you this on film, so I'm gonna leave. Right. On my side, you, I have all these different controls. So I have, this is my little mixer that's gonna go to my mic, which is right here, which is a Rode, hold on. These are new, so sorry. So this goes to a Zoom H4M Pro right here, and so I can control my levels through there, and it's gonna go to, over here, to an MTG3B Rode uh, mic. So I've completely upgraded my audio uh, very recently, so hopefully it, like, it sounds really good for you guys. I want the audio to sound good. So when Alex is like jumping around screaming because he's eating the Death Nut 2.0, ah! that doesn't sound awful and all you know, peaky and things like that. So, uh, new mic. So I can control that over here. Uh, I have a little tray that I have connected to this gigantic C stand with some lights on it that I'll get to in a moment. Um, that's where I keep like batteries, that's where I keep memory cards, all the, like, the tech kind of stuff right there. Uh, over here is normally where is going to be uh, like I keep tissues, paper towels. This just happens to have some beef jerky on it right now. <laughs> um, anything that I'm gonna be grabbing. So like when I do like cooking videos or something like that, like. I'll be, I'll have everything staged over here, kind of like off, off camera, and I can just kind of grab it and bring it on set as need be. I also do like extra drinks and things like that here. I have two monitors. So uh, the one that you're, seeing on, that you're seeing on the right hand side right here. So I have, if you look back here, I have a piece of green tape and that lines up with this portion of my table right here. And that's where I, when, I, when you see me do the, the spoonfuls, that's where I can line it up so that I know that the camera's gonna be there. But I also have a reference so I can see the second uh, camera, so I get the monitor there. And then the monitor on the left is just the wide shot, the shot that you guys are normally seeing. And so that way if there's like something in the shot then I don't want it to be, because I, I hate it when there's like something kind of in the shot. And it's like, you know, right next to the frame. I hate that. So I can move things out, things like that. I can front the labels so we can see in the front of the labels and all that kind of stuff. Um, so that's that. Uh, when it comes to lights, I use a lot of lights. So they're all aperture lights and they're all daylight balance. And so all of them have the same Kelvin temperature, which is the same color of the light. Um, so I have, I'm trying to remember the names of all of the lights here, but these are spotlights basically right there. This is a 120, a 120D that I was using recently for like that dramatic intro to like hot sauce videos. I decided to nix that intro. So I have that light, I'm gonna be changing the lighting scenario up. Um, I have another aperture light that's inside of this, they call it a China Ball right there, and that's just gonna give like uh, atmospheric lighting. So that's like the main set light. The light directly above you is going to be to light the back of the set. And then you see a light up in that corner right there, and then up in that corner right there. And those are room lights. They're basically hair lights, so it's gonna give a little bit of, like the guest here is gonna get a little bit on the side of their head. And then under there, directly at the top of the camera, I have another light with a uh, grid on top of it that is going to uh, give some front light, basically. So that's how I do the lighting. Oh, the cameras. So the actual cameras that I'm using are, I have a Nikon Z6 with a, an 18 to 35 Nikon lens on it. That's the main camera. And then my old main is a Nikon D800 uh, with a 7200 on it that's gonna, that can really zoom in. And I kind of punch in on it simultaneously sometimes. I have everything taped down so nothing can move. So the table is taped down. Um, I don't even have a tripod on the main camera. It's actually on a light stand. But I've taped the light stand to the ground. I keep moving things around. Um, you will see, this is kind of funny. Um, depending on how long, or how long you've been or watching my videos. My set used to be facing that direction. 
so the, the desk was like right here and going that way and this is a gigantic window so like actually in the background that is we built uh like a fake a fake wall with uh, drywall and then painted it red so that's actually a window behind that and you can kind of see it if i like if i peek right through there you can actually see out into the into the real world in the corner there i keep like all my games and stuff like that so you got drinko over there and uh class which i did with um justin loniker and then the, the, the snow cone machine is down there over here um is where i keep all the hot sauce that's going to be on deck this beautiful thing this just came from herbury farms i think this is going to be this weekend's video it's very appropriately themed it's uh, like got some halloween vibes going on um and then everything else is just kind of on deck so i uh, it's kind of sorted by company, generally speaking. Um, I clearly have a lot going on. And I keep some other stuff down here, like some bean boozled stuff down there, and um, some other spices from Katie's Brief Jerky, and some other things. Anyways, other things for videos. Um, what else do I got here? Da, 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 da. So, like, on the background of the set is kind of like my, like, wall of fame, I guess you could say. So I've got, like, Cully's Ramen, which I failed. I've got Katie's Flaming Ass Jerky Challenge, which destroyed me with cramps. I've got uh, the Death Nut and the Death Nut 2.0, both what I did with Alex, who's holding the camera. Um, I got uh, Tabasco's 150 year anniversary sauce back here. I've got two of the hottest sauces I ever had in my life. So I've got Thor's Hammer and Reaper Squeezins um, by Volcanic Peppers and by Puckerbutt. Uh, Instant Regret Chocolate Bar. That's like one of the, the first like really spicy things I did in my channel. Um, Got a bottle of the white trough on here. I've got, this one's pretty cool. So this is made by Gemini Crow and this is uh, Jason's first slasher sauce and it's actually signed by the the actor who played Jason. In the That's movie, amazing. In the movies. <laughs> uh, I'll never open that one. I got a bottle of DEF CON 1 from DEF CON. This is his tincture. It's like one of the spiciest things I've ever eaten in my entire life. This is from Clowns on Fire. This is one of their SCOBY awards. They won an award for one of their sauces uh, last year and they actually sent me one of their SCOBYs as a, as a thank you, which was pretty amazing. I got some camera cases that are down here. You can see how my lights are kind of taped off. Like I, I try to do the best I can with cable management and things like that. So everything is kind of, uh, it's controlled chaos back here, back here basically. And I am, Anybody who has worked in photography or video, do not pay attention to how many lights I have attached to one C-stand. It is obscene. <laughs> and you can see that my C-stand is actually kind of tilting inwards a little bit because there's way too much weight on it, but I'm gonna be fixing that here pretty soon. I'm actually gonna take one, two, another C-stand on that side and I'm gonna run a crossbar across the whole thing and then I'm gonna go everything off of that crossbar. So I will be doing a better job with that. Towards the door, you can see I have some curtains that are up. That's just to kind of take care of some audio bouncing, things like that. I need to put like a rug down or something like that, but that's about it. Anyways, that is that is a tour of my my video studio. Let me know if you guys if you're uh, if you work in uh, professional audio video photography. Let me know if you see anything that's insane in my studio and things that. Um, don't make sense or if you guys have any suggestions for things that you want to see me like increase the quality of where there's like the video the audio anything about the uh, about the videos that you think need to be improvement on like the technical side let me know because I'm always trying to clearly try to make it a better viewing experience for you guys I want to make it like a television show like make it really clean precise you know for you guys anyways that's it hope you guys enjoyed I'll see you guys on the next hey this is Brian Ames uh, please click the subscribe button that you see right there and uh, you'll subscribe to my videos uh, from now on. I'm going to be eating a lot of peppers. It's going to, oh man, it's going to be great. Bye.